You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Penguin uh, episode five, Homecoming, just uh, dropped on HBO Max. We have been watching this show every episode. We've also been doing some other breakdowns of the um, series. So we, uh, we being uh, my my other half, uh, Romy, uh, just uh, in, really, really enthralled with with this show uh, in regards to everything else that you've you know from other people that you've heard the storytelling the acting and uh, uh the characters and every week we get more entertainment we get more thrills more surprises more twists and it's showing because as of uh today homecoming uh has jumped up in ratings to 1.9 million so every week more and more people are jumping on to see this on HBO Max. And that's a testament to this great storytelling. Now, there's been some changes from the comics uh, that some people aren't too crazy about, but they all recognize this is a really good show. But the general audience is absolutely just in love with the show. Episode five is called the homecoming, and it, it means a, a couple of different things in regards to the two uh, main characters that we're following. It means the homecoming uh, of of uh, Sophia um, uh, Falcone, who has a, and I'm trying, I'm going to do my best non spoilers here, who has a homecoming that's uh, that is not the family homecoming you'd expect. She is creating a, a, a new family, and to do that, she's got to do the most um, dastardly things that you can imagine. For Oz, he's on the other side of that. He's just trying to find a home, a place of survival, to catch a breath and to make sure that his loved ones are safe. Both are thrilling. Both, you just can't believe how are they, you know, uh, just maneuvering and dealing with new and older characters. I want to talk about something really quickly that I don't think enough people are talking about. And I brought this up um, with some other friends. That Hollywood has done the worst job of pushing an agenda on our beloved IPs for so long now, for years, that rightly so, fans, whether they're whether they're fans of the original product, right? The original Star Wars, original Battlestar Galactica, the original Star Trek, Doctor Who, et cetera, et cetera. They've come to such an impasse that they just no longer watch and support these shows. And even worse, they'll get rid of their merchandise. They'll get rid of their beloved uh, DVD collections, et cetera, et cetera. Now, very rarely does Hollywood knock it out of the park in regards to pushing an agenda and entertaining us. Because I've always said, you can do both. You're just gonna have to ha you're just gonna have to do some more heavy lifting. And what am I talking about here, Polly? Well, the penguin has a strong pro-women feminist agenda. And in this case, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh dear my, from the mother to the head, now the female head of the of, of the Falcones, they uh, become more than just side pieces, more than just damsel in distress, more than just a powerless mother. They have, for lack of a better word, agency in these stories that it's intertwined and never get it wrong with a comic book story, which that, that balance of you're always seeing the comic book characters from little characters such as uh, the, the, uh, the chief of police to yes, the penguin. Uh, and I'm just, I, 
I'm almost amazed that they pulled this off. And yet I shouldn't be because a little bit of disclosure, I know one of the consulting producers and she is a mega talent, mega talent. And I know other work that she's done. I'm like, wow, she brought the dark. She brought the comedy. She brought the real, uh, uh, the realism uh, of, uh, of, of kind of like uh, that, that gritty situation of, whether it's 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 trying to come up and trying to get yours or like i said kind of not just being the 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 dumb subservient daughter of a mobster it's almost as if sopranos meadow soprano becomes self-actualized and becomes a tyrant and takes control that's what this is and she's becoming that she's going to become Penguin's arch nemesis in this. I mean, I'm absolutely. I cannot wait for more episodes. I can't wait to see where this is going. But I do believe that there, there is a strong feminist agenda. And I don't think in this case there's anything wrong with it. And that's my uh, that my take on the series so far. My take on this episode so far. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know what you guys are thinking. It's called Homecoming on HBO Max starring Colin Farrell. Christian Miliotti, who's so, so, she, she is the big star that has uh, just come out of nowhere. Uh